Hello. Hi, Jen. Hi, John. How Hello. are you? We're good. good. How are you feeling today? I'm good. I yeah. can't wait to start. Well, we're really excited as well. Like, I got my paper ready. Like, my trusty book. This is from Lindsay and Cole, yes. <laughs> She gave this to me, guys. It's so sweet. And, you know, I write my lyrics in here. And sometimes I just jot down, like, um, my memories. So that's why it's the perfect book to be drawing on. So, yeah, we're really excited. I'm going to flip the camera right now. And let's just get straight into it, shall we? All right. Let's do it. All right. There we go. Those of you who are here, um, I hope you guys are ready and prepared for this. We are super excited. Um, the theme is, if you can't read it, it is uh, Under the Sea. And um, Lindsay has prepared something. She's not shown me because she's going to surprise us. I'm really excited about this. How was your research for it, Lindsay? Sorry, Jen. How was your research for it? Ah, uh, research. Mm, I did a lot, but mm -hmm. um, because I'm familiar with under the sea theme, I always draw it. Like I mean, I always drew it back when I was learning and practicing drawing. So this is also one of my favorite things. Mm. Yes. Awesome. I want to learn how to draw waves. Are we going to be learning to draw waves today? Uh, a bit. Yes, a bit of it because I remember that you enjoy the repetitive drill drawing, right, yeah. Jen? Yeah, I love that. Yes. Okay, let's flip to a new page, guys. Yes. Hello, everyone. Yes, hello, everyone. Oh, someone said, Liam said, I've been watching Lindsay's lives all week. Guys, she's doing live streams every single, uh, uh, every other day. But she got live streams mm -hmm. to teach you how to draw the whole week. So do follow her if you haven't already. It's super, super wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Okay, um, uh, let's start straight to the drawing because uh, we are a bit, um, a bit tight today I mean with the time so mm -hmm. we, will, we won't be doing any warm-ups if those of you who are not able to catch up you can let us know we'll try to you know repeat some of the the revisions again but if not then we will just go straight to the drawing is it okay Jen? Yep I'm absolutely fine with that. Okay so uh, I think both Jen and I and John are ready with this piece of A5. So this composition will be, um, is planned according to an A5 page, but anyway, you could just plan it according to your page of any size, mm. right? Okay. Okay, so first thing first, um, this on of the C, okay? And underneath here will be the magical world where you know, the uh, repeating way which uh, Jen was mentioning about just now. Okay. So mm -hmm. I want you to choose. That. Actually, I, I did two kind of waves. One is the, okay, probably I'll show you. One is this, the Mandarin waves. This is kind of mm -hmm. like the Japanese. Um, swirly twirly kind of waves another one is just more of a mainstream miami beach kind of wave <laughs> <laughs> i like the swirly one i like the asian the swirly one okay yeah. let's do this teach us how to do that okay yes so we're gonna start with pencil and if you're confident you can go with uh directly with pen it's okay so this one it is kind of like the cloud that we learn so it's kind of like a cinnamon roll so just go like this from out the outermost um outermost turn you just turn your pen and go all the way in like this great yes it's that easy so the next one will be it could be bigger or smaller or lower so the main thing for this wave is we will try to make it 
as natural looking as it goes rather than being too monotonous or too you know stiff so you could do another repeating wave probably just above it but here there is a bit of angle just turning up and go down and go and and twirl inside again okay so you just keep on repeating up and down, up and down. So here, probably I'll, I'll add another one. They could be connecting together like this, or you could just do some separate mm. like this. It could be a half turn, it could be a full turn, whichever you like, yes. And some could be higher and lower. All right. But they yes. all have to connect somehow. Somehow they are connecting, yes. Some could be short, shorter, like uh, it, it just turned this way. Mm -hmm. without the, the ends so it's fine got it so we will do it from left to right to create this sort of um uh turning wave for the sea horizon mm. and you could also create some more um it's not just one row we could just we could do about three rows but they are all connected to each other because um, for natural waves, they are supposedly to be turning uh, on one direction. But it's all right if you want to add like one wave that is different, something like this. But most of the majority of the wave, wave should be heading towards one direction. Mm. Mm hmm So it can be like you said, uh, big or small, right? Yes, you can decide big or small, tall or short, high or low. How many sea creatures? Someone asked. Okay, we are, we are just doing probably four or five sea creatures today ah, yeah okay yes and also there are starfish um two seashells a coral bed and a lot of seaweed and kelp mm. cheryl says she can't see properly can you see this now i think jen is doing a good job <laughs> okay, guys, I want to show you Johnson. <laughs> it's good. It's good. This no worries. A bit too many. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine, though. It's so actually, cute. Actually, you have to do about two to three rows, so that is perfectly well done. <laughs> I think John's version even looked like the, you know, the Japanese print. Oh yeah. Ukiyo, yeah. The the Japan the the Greek wave of Kanagawa. So there is this very famous um print 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 that what's uh, the name of it? The Great Wave of uh I think it's C Kanagawa, I think so. Mm -hmm. It's by the really famous Ukiyoe artist. So basically Ukiyoe means um print making in, in Japan, a kind of print making in, in wood. So printmaking and silk screening, you remember we did the silk screening yeah. at weekends. Yes, that, that is considered the same genre, just that they are made of um, different material, but they are all under the 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 method of making prints. Mm. Yes. Oh, so okay, this kind of, uh you mean the the place, is it? Yeah. The place, I think the, the the place for that painting is Kanagawa. If I, guys, do you know? Anyone knows? I think it's Kanagawa. Okay. Yeah, you can check it out. Okay, and um, that's a good one. Oh, I, I'm the one who's not finished. And when we're done, we can ink it. Mm -hmm. So when we ink, I want everyone of us to be more expressive, like... Um, Rather than just inking the 
the outermost shape. You can also add this continuous twirl, very small. Yes. And you just twirl and twirl. Uh, Rachel asks, can the wave be like big and small and big and small? Yes, you can make it big and small, big and small. It's really up to you. I like what you said, like, uh, be more expressive with the... <laughs> yeah. I really like it. Because then, you know, you're just, you're just letting yourself go. I like that. Yeah, yes. Because we don't have warm-up here, so I just want to, like, be straight to the point that, oh, okay, just relax. Make yourself less stiff with the pen and just mm. go and, you know, make it... Imagining, imagine that the waves are really just roaring towards you. You feel that wave. Oh my god. This is why we're calling it doodle therapy because the way you describe things is so artistic. Right, guys? Let us know in the comment section. She is just so amazing. Thank you, Jen. And and if you like, you could even repeat or use a thicker pen for some of the main strokes so that, you know, there are a bit of a center of attention to each of the swirl. But this is really optional. Got it. Yeah, see, everyone's saying really amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, thank you. I'm also like, while I am very excited for MCO to slowly be lifted, at the same time, <laughs> I know this is one thing I'm going to miss every single week. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I know I this is something. Too. This is just so, it's really so therapeutic. You gotta try, you have to try to like figure out how we can, you know, every other month or something to create yes. this again, you know? Yes, of course we will. Definitely will. A lot of, um, I mean, our followers are, one of them, they're begging me to, to complete uh, or just continue because uh, I think she's from Singapore and she knows that MCO is pro okay. might probably be lifted soon. They they really I think she really wish she really wishes us to to just keep this going. Which we, it's really heartwarming. It is. Thank you so much, guys, for the support and you know especially Lindsay for giving the time to us to do this. I can't believe we're doing this for a month already, Jen. This has been, this is what, week five, is it? It's week five, right? I think this is part four for us, right? Yeah. Part four for us, yeah. But it's, 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 five. it's too long. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like almost closer to you. Oh, thank really? you. Yeah. I feel like because we've always been busy for work when we meet, right? Mm. Yeah. So we didn't yeah. really like sit Catch down. Up like yeah, in a way. Yeah. Oh, this is therapeutic for me too. <laughs> I've been doing this for long. I guess like what you said, you know, at the start, you were like, um, you know, doing mm. art is more of a job already for you. And, and you don't yeah, see like how like, yeah, you don't see how like doodling is something that can bring you therapy as well so as yes, much as this is fair. for us I, I i really love it that it's also for you thank you jen i think you are the one who realized this part of me like oh. i never really thought of that's really cool that's really really cool like we learn new things huh? like this, like today the one thing i learned is i'm actually incredibly ocd <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know you're OCD, but I'm not sure. Like, in, because I believe that all of us, each and every one of us, is OCD in some way or other. Yes. yes. Yeah. Like, for example, John, I know he's super hygiene <laughs> and uh, coordination freak. I, I don't know. I, I, when I see his things and your, I mean, your interior, it's always so neat. Like oh, the yeah. candle here, yes, uh, that's him. Greek one, uh, Greek one, and X axis and Y axis, something like that. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> is it's him. So nice, it's so nice to know because I can't do that, mm -hmm. and it's good that because I know this doodling will somehow uh, relax. I mean, both of you as well, yeah. like in some way or other. I think it's not just us, you know, like the other week mm -hmm. when we did the stars and the galaxy, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. there were like a little, really young friends, I think about like 10 years old, 11 years old, they were drawing as well. And I think that that's therapy mm -hmm. for them as well, you know, 
like they're learning something. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. And they even add it into their assignment and homework as well, which is really so nice. cool. So so cool. How's mine? Do you think I'm doing okay? Do you know yeah, what? You're doing good, Jen. Hmm? I gotta say that this looks like little sperms <laughs> heading towards the IKEA. <laughs> huh, now I now it does it. look like. Right? <laughs> okay, so you probably, because now all your waves are quite uniform they have the same distance mm. so you can just add this random lines in between the blank spaces or Got even it. just out of the way yeah okay, you just okay. you see my stroke jen you can just like imagine that there, you are in music or dancing okay it could be okay. just very um you're just releasing your your inner strength okay i'll do that i can i can release when my you, inner strength you know, you press down your pen and when you finish the line, you lift it up so that there is this um, airy, airy effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. All right, all right. Let me try. <laughs> Please stop looking like sperm. <laughs> this is the shape. I yeah, I made it. it. I made it like with the line, with the squiggle. So. Okay, don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it won't look like... Yes, Jen, even on the top row of the wave, you can just add all this um, little fine lines coming up. Okay, got it. Yep. The bottom as well. Okay, I think we're good enough. We don't want to overdo it. <laughs> So excited. Okay. Is everyone okay? <laughs> Is John okay? Um he's, he's trying. Okay. We're not really okay. going with the flow, but you know, we're trying. All right. Let's mm. um right, proceed to the Oh, actually not bad, John. Yeah, it's really not bad. Mine look like mm. sperm. Lindsay's looks so <laughs> Right, Lindsay's is so nice. Never, 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 I can practice. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, practice makes perfect. Let's mm -hmm. go downwards to the uh, the coral bed. Mm -hmm. So let's do this. Um, It's kind of like the, the sand bang. So it's just this. We create this foreground here to, to kind of uh, let us have a starting point for the all the, the leaves and, and kelps that we are drawing later. Yep. Okay. Oh, it could be slightly, just probably about one to two fingers wide will do because the seaweed are quite long. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. We won't be inking this first because we are doing a lot of layering. So the, mm. the best part about under the sea is that you can just do a lot of layerings from the foreground to the background. Let's start with a starfish. So imagine that this is a, the seabed and starfish is just like a star. So just do this um, slightly lumpy kind of star with the five points just a bit curved. So it doesn't have to be really stiff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like Patrick from yeah. Yeah, from SpongeBob. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jen. Now your your starfish. They are looking a bit like um. I think they have water retention a bit. So <laughs> you just have to make it slightly pointy. Okay, okay. <laughs> slightly hey, pointy. John's not bad. John, show, show, show. It's a bit flat on top. But, but it's not bad. Nicer than mine. 
I made my seabed a bit small, so it's oh, in the corner. Oh, that's good. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, it's When I pin it, I'll make it nicer. <laughs> okay. This is one shop sign. But yeah. <laughs> Don't put shop juice. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fine. That's fine, Jim. That's fine. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> when you pin it, you yeah, can round it off. Yes, round it off. Yes, correct. Yeah. <laughs> Someone <laughs> just says hers look like gingerbread men. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Okay. Okay. Look like tata scissors. <laughs> tata scissors? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna Great. Add Let's add some dots all around in the starfish. They are supposedly to be rough. Have you touched a starfish before, Jen? John? Never, never. Okay. I, I have touched it. Really? Yeah. It was like. Yes, I, I, I touched it before too at the Singapore Sea Aquarium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can't remember how, how it feels. It's a bit rough, but it's not too hard. Mm. Okay, continuing, it will be the shell. So we are doing this kind of shell, the basic one. Here. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so it will be an inverted triangle. Probably we could just place it right beside the the starfish. Okay. It's almost like an inverted triangle, but all rounded as well. Got it. And then just add this um another like half circle or, or rectangular shape down there. Great. And then we're going to create this scallop shape mm. on the top line here. And then just draw lines all the way to the center, but it has to be a bit curved like this. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. It should be drawing the small, small ones as well. Got it. Great. Let's move on to the next shell. So this one is kind of like the the shell where the hermit crab lives in. Mm -hmm. Like the, it looks like a trumpet thing. So we are going to start with this. Um, it's like a mochi shape. Like it's not exactly super round, but it's rock-like or, you know, the Japanese mochi. It's a bit lumpy like this. Correct. Good. Right. And on top of it, but slanted, we are going to build up the, the how do I say that? The gradually, the shell shape that is gradually getting smaller. So we just create this layer of half circle. Mm -hmm. And you slant it and go all the way up until you just makes it smallest to one point, one oh pointy end. Oh my god, it's like yes. croissant. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> croissant. I haven't had croissant for a month. Oh my gosh, I, I miss I'm croissant. Here. I need to have it. But my one, the Zui Ho Yi need to be sharp sharp one, is it? Yes, need to be sharp sharp. Pointy pointy. But also a bit rounded lah, not, not so pointy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then in, inside the seashell, we're going to create the pattern as well. So just do the curved line like this. Oh, like you the can onion. do, yeah, the onion. You can just do for the rest as well. Great. And below, there is a bit of um, the, the twirling end as well. So you just put like three, three lines, three curved lines. Great. Nice. Perfect. Hey, Derek. Yeah. Derek, Derek. Hi, Derek. <laughs> Let's put some rocks here and there. <laughs> Wait, someone the... said, mine mm -hmm. looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> It, it does it will look like shit if you don't if you don't do it wrong. 
<laughs> I'm loving this. I'm having a good laugh. Okay. What that's else? Like, so we should cool. be drawing like um little rocks around. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Got it. Oh. Got it. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Let's move on to the corals and seaweed and kelp. Mm. Okay, so this will be the revision that um, we have done for the, the leaves part. Do you still remember? Yeah. So, yes, imagining that there will be like a lot of... Um, seaweed um, of both, I mean, of all sorts of height just flowing here. Okay. And we will just do like, um, probably we will do the first one. So you just do wiggly lines all the way up. Whatever, whichever height that you like or the length that you like. Okay, yes. Let's do some of the leaf revision. So it could be just pointy leaves. Mm. And just draw all the leaves from top to bottom but the leaves is like looking up la. yes looking up okay. correct Simsia Y says later can add octopus and turtle. Uh, <laughs> um, because today we are doing really basic under the sea I didn't really put octopus and the turtle inside. It's more of the advanced one. Next time, okay? Next time. Next time, next time. If you want to level, phone, level 50, yeah? We are right now level 2, <laughs> ah. Yeah. Okay, can add some shorter ones just beside it. Like maybe just two or three more strands. Okay. Yes. I understand that because some of these are repeating already, if you are really confident, you can use pen. But my advice is I don't recommend because we are adding a lot of little fishes along the way. So it's still best to use pencil to create the layers first. Okay. Next, we will just do this really long seagrass wiggly. Just go up and go down. That's it. Probably about three to five strands like this of different heights can just go up like one that is super long and some that are super short. Okay. And some could even overlap each other. Yeah. Spidery dickery dog says, don't, mine don't look like under the sea. Under from where I also don't know. Mom post. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Don't give up. Whatever don't you give draw, up. whatever you draw will not be like sperm <laughs> chasing an egg, okay? So don't worry. Don't worry, yeah? We are just learning, well, learning here. If Jen is drawing, you should be drawing too. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, next one will be the sea, the seaweed that goes all the way up as well. It looks a bit like this, but it branches out. So you just do some um, branch out first and then just do the, the leaves. You can make it round, I mean, with rounded leaves or pointy leaves, whichever you like. Okay. Yeah, or even like the leaves that are a bit wiggly like this. That's fine too. Mm. Mm, to create different textures and shapes. So all this are supposed to be overlapping each other. So this is all about learning how to overlap. It's okay if that, like the one that you're drawing now is overlapping to the kelp beside, just go over it. Because now we're just sketching, it doesn't matter. And you can decide along the way whether like what is behind, what is in front. Or you could just, you know, just draw and later on when we, we're inking, then just do the, the decision of um, layering. Mm. Yep.
Nice, Jen. Really nice. You sure? Yes, I like that you have different heights too, which <laughs> creates this um, you know, the composition of um, like the person looking. I mean, the viewer looking from the left and go up and go down and go up mm. again, go down. Flow is very important. Yeah, clearly the flow is very important. Yeah. Yes, go with the flow. Yeah, Hanang. <laughs> De Leo, can you turn off comments so we can see Lindsay, please? Uh, you actually can shorten the comment area by just pressing somewhere. I have no idea. But you just press it and on the screen and the comment will turn to just like one, I one could, row. Of I could turn I off so. comment actually on my side. But so then we can see. We won't be able to read any of their comments though. Yeah, no, I think no, that, that would be bad. Let's just talk, chat with everyone. Okay, okay. No. How to draw the small leaf. Okay, basically, this is your branch. You just go all the way up. You turn and come in again to a point and repeat the same thing turn and curve and go back again so this is a very typical pointy leaf leaf is one of the easiest thing to do though so this is a really good practice for those of you who have just started to doodle with us mm. Yeah, got some people ask me like the first episode, do I have it or not? So I'm like, I need to go and check my inventory from my team and see if they've downloaded the first ever episode. Because that was the one that started it all, you see. Mm -hmm. I know, Jen. Some asked me like, uh, did we put it up on IGTV? Then I say you have to ask Jen. I, I totally didn't record all, I mean, any of the the live stream recording, so I have to ask you then. Yeah, I, have to ask I, got, I, I think my team downloaded it, so I might okay. just upload it. But um, Instagram, I think these few days, they are going through some kind of like updates, so I'm having some issues as well. But never mind, today oh. we are, we're get, getting a little crash course on how to draw the leaf, so I kind of love it. Mm -hmm. Let's hope so that we can see the, the first one. Whoa. Yeah memories mm. okay so now so now ask show one more time for the starfish okay i'm just gonna demonstrate one more time while jen is doing the leaves so for the starfish imagine that for an or i mean an ordinary star looks like this right i believe everyone can draw this imagine that the starfish is a lumpy version of it is longer, but at the end, it kind of slouch like this a bit. You can do this way as well. I think this is a good way to draw the starfish. Just extend each of the point and make it lumpy like this. Mm. And then you just erase everything inside and just add some dots inside. Okay. Great. Let's move on to the next um, coral. Okay, this is, it looks almost like ginseng or the root. <laughs> and remember our flower border. So it's like a lot of um, Y, a lot of the Y shape going up like this. Yeah, so just random Y or the tabalik run. In Chinese, you can just do it this way, or if you're comfy, yeah, just flip your book way. over. Yeah. It's supposedly to be very wavy and non parallel as well. Okay, this is one of my favorite CV to draw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It's easy and it's fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some could be long, some could be short. 
Okay, this is really easy and good to go. And the next one will be the very typical coral that we see, which also look like a fat Y. So you just go like this. I have no mm -hmm. idea how to describe it. Okay, okay. It looks like scary monster's hand just going, <laughs> going all the way up. And overlap a bit, then go up again. It does look like a scary monster hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hello guys. If yours look like mine, high five. <laughs> so <laughs> so Oh my god. This Some is could be longer then. Okay. Some could be long. <laughs> uh, oh and some of the thumb, if you feel like it's a bit too re repeating, you just rub, I mean, erase one of it and just extend again so that there's another scary monster hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. It's so funny. Jennifer says hers look like tangan hantu. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> can lah, can lah. Uh, oh, not bad lah. Okay, okay. Good. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I'm close to the edge already though. Should I continue here? I think you, should, you can continue. Okay. Yeah, just continue. Uh, for those of you who still have a bit of space like mine, you can just, just add another seaweed up. And I'm going to do this rounded lift, the one that we have learned together during the flower border session. So just do this. Or you just if you want to repeat any of the seaweeds or kelp or corals that you have done previously here, you can just repeat it at the end, no worries. Let me time check a bit. Okay, we have 20 minutes left. Great. Let's start with the fish. Okay. Wow, I love it, Jen. Okay, like it's you, legit. Said, you look at it far, far away, it looks like okay, but <laughs> you come close, that's when a bit hantu. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's not imagine the, the hantu hand again. <laughs> let's start with the fish. So let's do a basic fish. I want everyone to just try somewhere in the space, I mean, the, the empty space here before we invade the, the coral bed. So okay. for fish, it's the typical fish will be just like a leaf shape. Do I say that? Yes, correct. Okay. And um, how do you call this? Is this gill. the one that, yes, the gill. Yeah. And add a little eye and fin. So it could be just one fin on top or two fins and two fins below. It's like a small triangle. And the tail, this is a typical, typical fish. And just repeat the scale in scallop shape like this. And you can add some bubbles all around. Guys, if you want to write some words in the middle, remember to just place the fish at the side so that you have more space later. Great, Jen. Okay, let's do a tropical fish, probably mm. one at, um, on the right side here. So tropical fish is it's really unique. It looks like a fan or heart shape. Okay, I just want to do this once for you first. Or even look like a club shape, the, you know, the, the cart club shape so it's like this <laughs> oh wow okay yeah. yeah the you know the kate spade logo yeah 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 mm -mm. and the poker cut cut shape yeah club okay let me try oh so i just do a heart shape here oh yeah you can do a heart shape then at the the tail oh 
Oh no. Okay, wait. Got the front here. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, it could be sharper because this is the mouth area. Yes, correct. That's a good one though. Probably uh, you can um, make this broader as well. The, the This is actually the head part. Uh, let me just draw the the eye first okay. so that you can visualize it better. It's a funny looking uh, fish. You can maybe broaden this area, Jen, so that the head looks... <laughs> <laughs> Currently, yeah. look like someone punched it here. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. look like a problem. <laughs> oh, okay, Jen. Your 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 stroke supposedly to be like from the mouth here. You go straight, then up like that. Okay. Straight up. Straight and then up. Let me try it. Yeah. Straight and then up. Sound it. Okay, much better. And probably your eye should be placed more fun. Oh, great. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, let's do the camouflage um pattern that looks exactly like the camel. So just one from top to bottom and another one from bottom to top. It ends somewhere around the body of the fish, then just continue. Okay. Yes. And just add one big fake eye on the, the top end of the fin. Mm -hmm. This is the fake eye. Oh, they got a fake eye, I didn't know that. Yeah, so that when the enemies bite, uh, they think that this is the eye area, but actually the tropical fish still has a chance to escape because this is actually the, the fin part. Mm. What about the tail area? The tail area, okay, you can just add some lines here. Okay. Yeah, and add this fin down here below the, below the eye. Okay. Yes. So this is your exotic looking tropical fish. Man, this one looked like a wushu, like, like a, a beard. <laughs> ah, it's supposed to, you know, go according to the the club shape rather than just oh, oh, letting oh, oh, oh. it rest in them. Okay, okay, okay. So meaning... The wushu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jen, so cute. No, mine now, now it's like a tongue. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Spider with the curry dog safe again. His, his or her fish is mal malnutrition. <laughs> see them. Okay. Mine looks like a watermelon. <laughs> this is why we can't shut down the comment section. You guys are hilarious. Yes, hilarious. <sighs> I'm, I'm quite happy with my fish. Actually, actually your fish not bad. John's fish is very nice. I want to see John's fish. Whoa, John! Right. It's so good. Fish not too bad. 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 Good job, good job. He looks legit. Okay. Very nice. Alright, let's continue to a very basic jellyfish. Can just put anywhere that you have, um, any space that you have. So jellyfish is this wobbly circle but at the the bottom here is just like wobbly and wiggly like this oh. okay so simple yes simple to you you need to know <laughs> okay that's why i you know i try to elaborate as much as i can and just add like the sea mm. seaweed as well just okay. wiggly down all the way different lengths that's it Please don't add eyes to it, guys. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cut to find cartoonify it. Okay, great, Jen. Mm. That's about it. So just add some random bubbles all around. But and if you want to which challenge bubble yourself, went. oh sorry, challenge yourself. This is anywhere around the sea mm -hmm. area. And if if you want to challenge yourself, you could add one fish or two mm. in between the sea, something like this. Oh my god, okay, yes. yeah, try, try, try. Oh, wow. So let's give everyone probably just two minutes and then we'll start inking. So the 
the tip for this is you just draw the entire fish down there first and mm -hmm. when we ink we will differentiate like uh, which seaweed is in front or you know whether the the fish is at the back mm. so you just draw the whole fish first no worries got it yes correct John, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. My coral is so very ugly. Can even do a long fish if you want. How long is the fish? <laughs> very long. <laughs> Wow, uh, even a swordfish. Uh, just yeah. Or do you want time. Nemo? Oh my gosh! Can you teach me how to draw Nemo? Ayo, we don't have time. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Next time, <laughs> I'll learn how to draw Nemo. Sorry, guys. Next time we are, but we will do this for an hour today. Mm. Sorry about this. Yeah, but we're trying our best here. Nemo probably next time. Yes. Good. The jellyfish, okay, let me show you here. Sully Cool says he suddenly crave for seaweed snack. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot talk on the, the comment area, so funny. Right. Yes. So hilarious. Yeah, so hilarious. Thank you, Ashley. Ikan bakar. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I draw two fish, huh? Yeah, but you have to draw it, then we can decide later with the fun of it. Yeah. Okay, Jen, you can start inking anywhere you like, but you can start from probably from the left. Okay. Okay. And I'll give some tips along the way, but for now, let me just um, Cheryl is asking, can demo how to draw third C plan? All right, let's do this again. This one, right? So this one, the same, just extend, ex extend your line all the way up, wiggly. And then just do some sub branches like this. Crisscross it like the, the Y that we mentioned. And then just add the pointy leaves that could be pointy and wiggly a bit because it's in the sea. So supposedly the waves are, the seaweed is just flowing with the waves, waves like this. Is this okay, Cheryl? Okay, guys, if you don't want to get confused first, you can start with the jellyfish. I understand that the seaweed might look a bit overwhelming now, but we're going this one by one. No worries. So just ink your jellyfish. Or you can just start like Jen, you know, she's so confident now. I'm so happy for her. <laughs> For the jellyfish, you can just add like random lines as well. It's supposed to be transparent. So you can do the reflection effect. And for the wiggly lines, just do this Ooh. relaxing lines like this. It could even overlap a bit. Oh, I love that. <laughs> now it looks like a bit like noodles, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, let's do the seaweed one by one no confusion here are you still doing live stream whole week next yeah. week jen i'm still, still thinking, right because apparently we can go back to work already right yeah how about you? Are you? Yes, I can't wait to go back to work. <laughs> right? I'm sure you miss yeah. your team. I miss them. Um, I need help for Mother's Day orders. Like, oh I'm God. so overwhelmed. Yeah, I can imagine. 
Hmm. Are you and going back to office next week? We are still discussing as a team. Okay. So for me right now, you know, I'm just really focused on uh, making sure that those are no, not false news is actually happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to monitor it first. Lah. I just really miss, mm-hmm. you know, going to office. I really miss my team a lot. I, I, I believe so. Mm. But at the same time, you know, I, I realized I started to really love being at home now. I get what you mean. <laughs> right? Like, the moment yes. I got used to it, suddenly everything is okay. Yeah, don't you think, like, today's news is a bit out of the blue? Yeah. Out of nowhere, yeah. right? It just they, seems like, I mean, my, we didn't expect my friends it at all. Say, yeah, my friends say in Mandarin, Sing Fu Lai Da Tai Tu Ran, like, just... Mm. Just, just came all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah. Just don't know why. I wonder why. <laughs> Probably because it's really hitting the, the economy. I don't know. Yeah. Trying to stimulate it. True. Do you need to catch up with, like, work? Mm, I, the good thing about what I'm doing right now is that I could do it um, remotely. Mm-hmm. So that's good But I had to Cancel a lot of jobs Yeah I, I get what I mean mm. So your first project Is the Mother's Day la? Yeah it's ongoing But uh, whereas for events I don't think We're gonna go out that soon Do you know the news that Yesterday uh, The Blue Ink Media yeah. Is closed it's really sad, and I really know a lot of um, editors, and you know, I mean, the copywriters there, they're all so nice, and it's really correlated to our industry, given mm-hmm. that we do a lot of corporate gifts and, and fashion illustrations. So it's really sad to, to hear that. And it's also, as you know, it's really one of the more important media in the country. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really heartbreaking. But I know that they have been struggling a while, so... Yeah, I heard that as well. Like, I yeah. heard that things weren't the best. So... Yeah, because digitally, it's devouring all the, the, the paper articles, but things they are like not, that. they're not doing digital. I think they're closing everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it's not... Uh, it's, I mean, they're just suffering... I, supposedly, I am going to have a live stream with one of the magazines this Sunday, but mm-hmm. because of yesterday news, it, it just, I mean, we're not doing it anymore. They didn't know as well? The, uh, the staff didn't know. Oh my god. They oh just my came, god. Came yeah, all so 180 sad. staff. Yeah. <sighs> okay, okay, let's say something positive. Mm, what do you feel about today's news? Like, I do think, you feel good? I, I think I feel good. But at the same time, um, I feel like I wonder if it's too good to be true. That's all. I'm like skeptical. True, right? Right. I get it's what like, you mean. Wow, so suddenly, eh? Yeah, and I'm afraid of if the curve will go up again, if we just, we are getting hasty or just more laid back. And back to what we were. So all this self-quarantining at home will be wasted. Was for nothing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a good point. Yeah, I would be so angry if we go back again. Because we have been, as a nation, I feel like we are so united. I mean, yeah. be it for the country or for the world. I feel like Malaysians finally very tang you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good point. Very fun, right? Yeah. I saw everyone just queuing up at the supermarkets like, it's quiet, but everyone is just obeying. It feels so powerful, silently yeah. powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very good point. Yeah. I think that, that that's really cool. Like the fact that we're, we're all trying our best to, to, to cope with it and hope for like a better situation mm-hmm. for it to improve, you know? So that's mm-hmm. why I think that's something like you said, it's actually quite powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like what we're all doing here, we're also encouraging everyone to just stay home. So, yeah, yeah exactly. good for good for everyone. Yeah, I think that that's, oh. that's what we really love. Like, 
why you're doing this as well you know you you true true i i would just sit down sometimes to just draw mm-hmm. uh, i want to show you this one this was from last week um, i just drew this by myself yes i saw this earlier yeah. it's so nice and i was like it's it's because of you like you taught me the the step by step you know mm mm-hmm. So this is easier. a good practice because uh without my guidance you actually can just do everything proves that it really works for you. Mm. Okay, someone asked about how do you outline the overlapping fish cast? Okay. So this is a bit tricky but it's doable. So imagine that because for this case I think Jen is doing a good job simply just putting the fish in front I think that's fine and whereas for my case here if I'm going to put at the back I'm just going to finish all this this coral in front first okay so for this Y shaped coral you can make it slightly thicker you can even blacken it mm. yeah like this Let me just blacken everything here and I'll show you how to do the fish. So the fish you can just go along with your sketch because your sketch is still visible and obvious. and just avoid a bit of the the corals in front and that's it just slow down your your strokes a bit mm. and go area by area so there are parts that we can go really fast with our pen which is like the repeating one like the kelp and seaweed but for fishes and living things you can always slow down to really go go through the details wow jen is amazing really 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 yes yes goodness i'm happy it's like how as a child we are using our eyes just um staring at the aquarium you know yeah. aquarium has this like little little boxes of aquariums where you just it's a world of its own yeah that that's why i really love like this theme because mm. you you start to think like ooh i'm not under water but it's nice to <laughs> imagine that you know true somehow it reminds me of uh, weekends with jen the is it the wakeboard or the the you know you went you and john went to the one utama is it can't remember yeah, where yeah, you did yeah. the yeah uh, it was uh, <laughs> it was it was, it was, it was really funny rider. it was so much fun uh, have you tried uh, it very nice no i'm not heaven but i after watching you all I feel like it's very thrilling it is and it's yeah. it's it's actually really really fun it just might hurt a little bit but it's very mm-hmm. well okay mm. are you still planning like um the rest of the weekends with jen yeah um we haven't finished planning so that's another thing that we will discuss like as a team you know that's good that's good i'm looking forward <laughs> Yeah, your weekends with Jen reminds me of the great outdoors. <laughs> ah, memories, memories <clears throat> of the great outdoors. Yeah. How should I draw the the ghost hands? Ah, uh, okay. So this one just you just ink everything, but you know at the same time we can add just some. Ah, uh, it really looks like hand now. This short lines. Here and there, and dots. It is a very textury, very hard. Imagine that it is made of rock, kind of um, coral. Mm. Yeah, 
And even for your outer line, it could be just like dot, 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 and wiggly, wiggly kind of repetition. Mm. Yes, like this. Let me just zoom in a bit. Great. Tangan hantu. You can do shadings for this as well. Awesome. Yes. So Instagram is still letting me record. So we just keep going, lah. Okay. Okay. I think we're going. Is it one hour already? So fast. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to you know make this good for us, but so no, one fine. hour fine. Okay. I think everyone's enjoying it as well. Good. Thank you, guys. Our initial plan was always have been, it always have been one hour. But yeah. We just drag and drag and until two hour plus. Yeah, but so because, crazy. you know, we are doing, we're filling up a whole page. We're not like, you know, like the other time when we did the gratitude, you know, our first one? Mm-hmm. That one yep. was more like, you know, one little, little component. This one, we're actually filling up oh. the page, you see. Yes, correct. Yeah. This is not Google anymore. Mm. How's everyone doing at home? Someone said, okay, time for my beauty sleep. Take care, everyone, and stay safe. Wow, beauty sleep at 10 o'clock. That's really oh, that's very cool. early. Uh, our night is still very young, no? <laughs> <laughs> what about the rest of you? How are you guys holding up? Um, are you drawing a tangan like me? Yeah. Drinking coffee wow. at this hour, Jackie. Seriously. Interesting people. Wow. Drinking coffee and doodle. It sounds like it. a good yeah, good package. Uh, nice wow, alcohol. very nice, Jen. Wow, that that's <laughs> even better. <laughs> yeah, I think once you've drawn the textures and all, it's it stopped looking like hands. Yes, correct. Looks good though. Mm, I love it. Oh, it's 7 a.m. for Jackie. Where are you from? It's so nice to have like international friends here. Yeah, we're international. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Payment says, looks good from super far. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Like, it looks even better when you close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, John? How's yours? Still just panning the outlines. Yeah? Does it look yes, good? correct. How's the shading? I think mine looks pretty damn good, yo. Very good. Very good, Jen. There's not much shading here. It's more about because a lot of lines are happening here. So basically, just all the line panning. Mm. Yeah. And different shapes and textures. Okay. When you do the C bed, just go according to the line and dot all out. You can even dot some sand out like this. Ooh, okay. I just start all around. Oh, this is my favorite thing. I love yes. to do this type of repetitive things. Yeah. Call it pointillism. Pointillism? Yes, pointillism. Oh. <laughs> so actually, there, there were artists that um, are pointless, I mean, like specialized in pointillism, and they create this whole painting with this met method. Imagine how long it would take. Yeah. Oh, wow. Pointillism. I'll check that out. Yes. So interesting. 
oh my god it's like educational class it's therapy ว่าพี่โตว่านักกีตายอ่ะอ o ู่ค n ณ point some down as well Jen like so that it's not just all the way up oh. here you can point some down or underneath the rock the shell like there are shadows too Jitney line the sand but it's okay if you lined it you can just add some dots all around doesn't matter Okay, last but not least, your starfish and your seashells. Just in all of them. For the starfish, you can make textures that are about the same for the the tangan hantu coral. So you can just wiggle and point a bit because they're rough and textury. This is a page full of different shapes and texture, which is really interesting. Mm. Imagine that this is so amazing that with just the simplest materials and tools, you can just create like a whole new world. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Yes. Oh my god, it looks so good. <gasps> Picasso once said that everything you can imagine is real. Wow! Picasso. <laughs> Some quotes again. Some Atas quote again. <laughs> Atas quote. What everything you can imagine is real. That's so beautiful. Yes. I really love that. Yes. Pointillism. I like that a lot. Yes, <laughs> pointillism. You can check that out. Yeah. Because you 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 just you're just literally dotting. Yes, correct. And for some parts, if you dot even more, you could create uh, shadows as well, the shading. So the more you dot, the darker it will be. So from afar, it looks like there's a bit of shading. Hmm. It depends on the amounts of dots all around. Uh, wow, Jen! Wow, I'm like so big <laughs> on under the sea world. So nice. I'm loving you. Really nice. oh, this is so I have so much thrill just doing this. The dotting part is my yeah. favorite. I want to test you again. Like you must include some doodle elements in your, you know, the future video. I don't know how it will be, but you, oh, you don't definitely worry. Have to... Don't worry. I've already mm -hmm. done something. I I will show you later. I'll message you. I'll show really? you. Really? Yeah, I have some. I have another project in my head. When oh FCM my is lifted, goodness, I want to yeah. include you in this project. I'll message you about it. Oh, okay. Wow, your surprise element never <laughs> failed me. Oh, give me another heart attack, a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'll be Expecting. anticipating. Yes. Mm -hmm. Guys, are we done? Please remember to tag us. Yeah. Really want to say it. Wow, so good the pointillism. Yeah. Jen, very, very, I love very you. on point. I Pun really, intended. Oh, on point, yo, guys, that's free for you. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. I love it. I love it. It's my thing. It's, it's really my thing. Nice. I think we're really like unleashing 
the another kind of creative side of you during this MCO. Yeah, really, honestly, really, uh-huh. yes. really, really. Because as we all know that you are so creative with your video, singing, everything, just. But this is another whole new. Yes. Perspective. Yes. I I didn't know I could do this as well. That's why I said like, and also I know it's not just me. There are a lot of people out there yeah. that say that I didn't know I could do yeah. that until I I followed Lindsay's class. True, and the thing is, John joining us, it, it amazes me too. Like, wow. Yeah, tonight actually he wanted to go play guitar. Then I was like, are you sure? Mm. Then he was like, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm gonna join. Oh, yeah. And you know, guitar can always come later, John. It's always beside <laughs> you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, for this tropical fish, you can actually shade the. Mm. The line because it's supposedly to be like the camouflage pattern. Oh if you don't want to blacken it too much, you can just shade it. I love it. Yes. Remember, every time when you feel like your object or animal or living thing or just any element, you feel like it's a bit too stiff, just add some random lines here and there mm-hmm. to just level it up. Heyman and Adeline say Jan one so nice. Yay! <laughs> so Guys, proud of you. You can do it too. I promise. Now, Jen, the, the bubbles don't make it too straight, yeah? No, non-parallel, just okay. random. Yes. Remember that. I don't want to spoil like at the end. <laughs> so these are all the little differences to, you know, step up yourself a bit and drawing here and there. That's how you turn from amateur to, to really, probably, you know, on the path to professional. Mm. That's all the... Can I draw like more bubbles all around? Please, please do so. Awesome. But every now and then, just um, stop and look at the whole picture, whether you like it or not, okay? Okay. It's all about balance. Yes, you can even add bubbles in between the seaweeds, like what Jen is doing now. Ah, this is so nice. I don't want this to end. <laughs> <laughs> Alas. <laughs> Hyo Hyo Nin Hyo Nin 
I'll show you how to shake the corals again. Okay, imagining that this is the, the monster hand shape. You just, you can ink out everything or if you are confident and feel like you want to challenge yourself, you can just dot along the way or wiggle so that your textures and lines look, look more rough and dot, 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 wiggle a bit, dot, 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 and vice versa. So in between, just add some of the short lines like this. It almost looked like your nail or toe and some dots all around. Okay, is this clear enough? Jen, not everyone is requesting you to upload the other classes on IGTV. <laughs> you have to point. Wow, Jess, very good already. Okay, I think it's enough. Very good. <laughs> Woo! I, I'm Amazing. so happy. Amazing. Guys, Amazing. Don't, forget wow. to put, don't forget to put in the shot oh, aside. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. This literally taught it. us. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so happy. This is the theme. This is the theme that I didn't know I could draw. Wow, crazy. Can't believe it. It's so pretty. John, you want to show yours before we go? Yes, I want to see John's. Give me 30 seconds. Okay, okay. He needs to. Okay, okay. Like, you know what? I'm just going to bring it here so yeah. you can see what he's doing. Yeah. Wow. Not hey, John bad. is doing a bigger version, is it? Yeah. Is he using a bigger version? Okay. I'm making the edge. Very good. So proud of you. Yes, the coral is well done. Really? <laughs> yeah, and you know, somehow John has developed his own style. You know, it's a mix between um, graphic and I don't know how to say, like shade. Oh, I you know, thought you were about I'm, to say shit. Shit. <laughs> no, no, no. Graphic <laughs> and shit. <laughs> Graphic and shading. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's, okay, very okay. Nice. Not, that's not my question. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. And the, someone said John's so neat. It's true. John's very, very yes. neat. Very neat. But I like because it's kind of, you know, he, he's doing his own style, which which is the most important thing. Never lose yourself along mm. the way. Mm. Yeah. Mine yes. is, I and realize, even, I really enjoy like shading. I really love very nice. it. I love how messy. This is clearly Very like, nice. guys, if you can see the difference in all of us, like Limzy's one is yes. more realistic. My one is messy, but it's my style. John's one mm -hmm. is neat and it's his style. So we did the same, we literally learned the same thing and yet we have so many different like versions. I absolutely love this. Yes. So nice. Oh my gosh. This is so perfect. Oh. Limzy, this is precious. Thank you so much for um, giving us your time. I thank you, John. Thank you, John. Upload this, and um, for those of you who just joined us and you wish to rewatch everything, I hope to put it up on IGTV. If not, uh, it'll be up on YouTube. I'll keep you guys posted. Okay. Okay. Thank All you, right. Jen. Thank you, everyone. Again, again, thank you so much. Um, I hope you have an amazing one, um, tomorrow as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. You too, Jen. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.